Hi, this is Renoka. I'm just going to show you a quick tip for Flash Professional for how to do a motion tween and add a motion guide for it. This is using the what they call now the classic tweens instead of the new motion tweens. I find for simple animations like this, the old style classic tween is easier and more flexible. I'll just show you how to to do a short animation. I'm just using a, a simple ball. So I'll just place it off screen and add some frames. So I'll add my first keyframe using F6 on frame 20 and I'll put it down here. And frame 40, I'll add the keyframe and then move it off screen. So I'll select these frames and then do insert classic tween and don't use motion tween, use classic tween. So now it's going in a straight line and it's bouncing in the center and going off screen. But since it's moving in a straight line, it's not very convincing. So what I'll do is add a new layer called motion guide. And I'll, using the line tool, I'll just press N for line. Just draw a line and select this ball and click on the corner using the selection tool. Drag and snap into the registration point. Go to frame 20, hold down Alt and drag the line to make a new point in it and snap that new point into the center of the ball. If it's not snapping, if you go to snapping and then turn on snap to objects, this will make it snap to the registration point. Go to frame 40 and drag the line into the center of the ball. So now it's still moving in a straight line, but if you right click on the motion guide and do, wait, I'll just move this up so you can see it. If you right click and then do guide, then that turns the layer into a guide. If you click on the ball and then drag it up, it will snap underneath the motion guide layer. And now the symbol should change into this dotted line. I'll just change this to dotted line with the ball on the end. So what this means is if I bend this line, then the ball will now follow the line. And now it will move in the curve in this arc and it will follow the line. This is how you add a simple uh, motion guide to a classic tween to be able to add more interesting animations that don't always move in a straight line. You can also enhance this by adding some easing if you click on this pencil tool. If you click on the, the classic tween here on the timeline and under the, pref the properties panel, under where it says tweening, if you click on this pencil, you'll get this easing panel. And you can adjust this motion line like this to adjust the the tween. This will make it go faster near the end when it's landing. Then I'll adjust this so it's faster at the beginning. So now it goes bring. You can also add some simple squash and stretch. So I'll just keyframe there and then here if you you can make the balls blare like that so it's landed and it's bouncing. So if you hide this motion guide you can now see the animation and it's following the motion guide that we just added and it's also got some easing and a bit of squash and stretch in it. I hope this simple introduction helps you create motion guides for yourself. Hope that helped. Thanks. Bye.